Alright guys, I am here with the SUI SL7. It runs a Rockchip 2818. The model device of the device is TR718D. It's pretty much uh, like a WOPAD or the APAD RK2818, Kendo M7, ONN, N2, the Ramos T11AD, Ramos W9, WOPAD. Um, just some different devices with different names but they're almost identical um, as you can see I've actually already changed the boot animation on this SUI um, but what I'm gonna do is show you a quick video on how to flash this device with a ROM that a guy has put together he took his WOPAD TR718D ROM and he updated it with a rooted with a permanent root and uh, did a few things else to it and it's for Android 2.1 and I'll put this link but if you go to this website it's a uh, I know you can't read it very good but slaydroid.com and how to flash a rooted ROM. Just go to slaydroid.com, then click on forums, scroll all the way down to the RK2818 or the Rockchip2818 threads, and then you can uh, click on like the Rockchip2818 tablet, and there's a, one of the threads is like how to flash a rooted ROM. Click on that, and it'll bring you up to the, the very first post is the instructions on what to actually do. Uh, you'll need to download a, a, this tool process. It gives you a link. Just click on that and download that. You can uh, just download it to a folder like on your computer like My Documents or you can do it to your desktop. Whatever you want to do it to. And uh, it has, what it is is it's an RK Tools download. It allows you, it has an RK Android batch upgrade in there. Um, the 2818 uh, driver for it and everything. But uh, I uh, flashed my SUI SL7 with this ROM and I was never, I've never been happy with my device. Like when I first got the device, it had the first batch of firmware that came out for this. So the touch was kind of laggy, like it didn't work too great. Um, and it, it was a little slow. I mean, it worked great, but I want you know want to do things with it. So I, when I flashed this ROM onto my device, uh, the touch was outstanding. Things were so much better. Like, plus it was permanently rooted, so it actually had the full working Android market on it, and you could download different different apps that use the root, which you know it makes the device a lot more funner to use. So, um, I'll put this link with this video, but the instructions tell you, once you download this RK Tools folder, back up, I have it right here, RK Tools, I know it's not too clear guys, I apologize, but it's right here, 20, it says 28.1x driver. And there's Arcade Android Tool, Arcade Android Batch Upgrade, and AFP Tool. So the first thing you're going to want to do, come to your, your SUI, your WOPAD, whatever you want to do, whatever you have with a Rockchip 2818 processor, and power off the device. Power off. Now once the device is fully powered off, go ahead and just wait a few minutes and, and let it kind of do its thing. Make sure it's completely turned off. And then I'm going to take the cord here and we're going to connect it to the computer. So I'm going to kind of set this down right here.
Okay, so while we're doing this, this is, of course, we're connecting it with the mini <coughs> USB. On my Sulai, and most of the devices are the same, you're going to hold down the escape key. So I'm going to push the escape key, and I'm going to plug in the cord while holding the escape key. Okay? So once it's plugged in, hold the escape key for just a hair, and then on your computer, it'll pop up <clears throat> in the bottom right corner of your screen. You know, that'll say something like installing device driver. And whenever it finishes, it'll say it failed. That's just how it works. So what you're going to do, go to start, right click on my computer, click on manage. <clears throat> it's going to pop up with your computer management. Okay? You're going to take this and you're just going to double, well just one, single click on device manager. And somewhere, it'll probably, it should be on the top, but it'll say, uh, like mine already says RK2818, but usually at the top up here, it'll say unknown device. Right? Well, go back to Rock Tools, RK Tools, double click on the 281X driver, open that folder up, it'll say AMD64 or X86. Now it just depends on what you have. Um, there's a in the AMD 64. There's Vista and there's Windows 7. So what I'm thinking, if you have an AMD processor 64 bit, then um, or Vista or Windows 7, then you come there and like, and what you'll do is just make sure you know where it's at. But uh, go back to computer management, click right click on the unknown device and you'll click install driver and then it'll pop up with a thing that says like either recommend like let the computer do use the internet or something or do it yourself. You're going to want to install it yourself and you're going to want to browse to the folder of RK Tools and to the folder of 281X driver and then click on the driver for your computer for the device. So like me, I run Windows XP, so I would have went all the way to x86 and then XP and then I would click the file that says system file, RK281X. Click on that, click install, and then that should install the driver for your for the device whenever it's powered off and in the state. <coughs> When that's when that's done installing, your computer management should say where it used to say unknown driver. It should say RK28, you know X device. Okay, you can close that out. And in RK tools, there's a thing that says RK Android batch upgrade. Double click on it. Right here. RK Android Batch Upgrade. Double click. Let that open. Alright. Now see where it's green right here? If you can see where my mouse is. It's green. That means it is reading your device. Okay. So. Back on the web page. Of SlateDroid.com. There. Towards, towards the bottom of that first post. There is, it says, this is only a ROM with root, it, root added. I'm also including an update.img that is stock version of this ROM that came on my device originally. The second IMG rooted ROM is the modified IMG. So, so if you click on Mediafire, it'll show like roms.zip. I think it's the second one though. I oh, know it downloads both of them. Yeah. Click on the first link. Okay. Sorry, it's been just a little bit since I've done this. And then it says click here to start download. Click here to start the download and it'll download and uh you know you can 
extract the contents to whatever folder you know where it's going to be. So, once you did that, remember where you extracted the contents of that folder. Then you're going to, on this page, on the RK2818 batch upgrade, where it says image, you're going to click on this box right here. And you're going to find wherever you saved the the folders at. And remember, there's going to be two ROMs in there. One's going to say, like, update image, update some ROM image or something. And then the other one's just going to say, uh, I am, I don't, I'm trying to remember what they say exactly. One's gonna, I guess one will say rom.img and the other one will say rooted underscore rom.img. Click on that rooted rom.img, wherever you saved it. So like right here, it'll kind of look like a, it'll be an image file. You'll just click on it, and then of course you'll click open, and it'll pop up right there. And your boot, version, and date will all fill in on its own. Once that's all done that, click on this upgrade button it'll start going through the cycle and install and flashing your device once it's done once that's done your device will show like like a recovery page and it will show how it's clearing the data and and wiping the the cache however you say it cache cache and it'll do that on the first reboot then once that's finished, it'll reboot the device again, and once it reboots the device again, you should be good to go. You have your updated uh, ROM running from a notepad, and it, it works great, I promise you. Now, with my SL7, after it, the first reboot, when it wiped the, and the recovery page looked like, it wiped the data and cache free, and then when it went to reboot again, it never did actually reboot again. It just stayed off. So I waited for a little bit and then I um, went down to the bottom right hand corner and of course ejected the device and then I uh, I tried to turn it on and it wouldn't turn it on just by one push. I had to actually hold the power button down for about like 30 seconds or so, I don't know. You'll see it, just hold the power button down and your screen will kind of flicker with this white kind of screen and then you should be able to just uh, push the power button at a, the normal rate and then it should come on. If it doesn't, just uh, keep trying to hold down the power button while it keeps screen flickers. I've had that trouble, but, you know, the, it works fine. I'm not sure what that does, but it does some type of actually, like, reboots or it does a full shutdown, something like that. Um, you can also plug it into the DC and then do that a couple times but but it should be fine and once that's up your device is working great you don't have to do anything you'll have full market everything else um, so if y'all have any questions about how to do that I know this video is kinda dumb but I'm just trying to make sure you know people who are a little confused just try to help them out uh, hopefully I haven't confused nobody and this makes sense but if you have any questions you can just uh, post it up under this video and let me know. But it's all right here, and I'll post this link that shows you how to flash a rooted ROM and how to do it on, like, the SUI or any of these wool pads, anything like that, with a Rockchip 2818 model TR71AD or C. So, I uh, hope that helps.